Phil Mackey here, 1500 ESPN.com. We are filming this in the middle of the 1500 ESPN.com headquarters, uh, the company condo. The Twins are on the road in Jupiter today. I stayed back to do the Royce and Mackey show, but the big news that Ron Gard and I are unveiled to reporters is Scott Baker is going to be the Twins' number five starter this season. Not much of a surprise, Kevin Slowey being sent to the bullpen. Uh, for Baker, the key was, and he, and he said this to us a few days ago, really the health of his elbow was the determining factor for him and for the organization and for Ron Gardenhire. I mean, Baker is a guy who has a four-year contract, $15.5 million, going to make $5 million this season. He was the Twins' opening day starter last year. And so when we were told a couple weeks ago that Baker and Kevin Slowey were battling for that final spot, it seemed like Baker had the leg up as long as health was, was at or near 100% for him. He had the off-season surgery back in October to remove some bone chips and bone spurs. Uh, had a bit of a setback at the beginning of spring training, some discomfort in that elbow, especially when he threw the changeup. So, so he was set back maybe a week or a week and a half, but now he's been throwing in some spring training games. Uh, his velocity is right there at the low 90s where it needs to be. He said he still feels a little bit of discomfort during warm-ups and, and a little bit with that change-up, but when he's in the game, he says adrenaline takes over and, uh, and he's fine, and the doctors have assured him that he can pitch through any sort of discomfort. It's just part of the recovery process. So the elbow, as of right now, not a big issue for Baker, and that was it. I mean, that's, uh, that's all really Ron Gardenhire needed to hear. Kevin Slowey, the problem with having Kevin Slowey as the odd man out, he has potential to be maybe the third best pitcher on this team, his biggest problem the last couple of years has been durability as well. He's a guy who hasn't been able to stay healthy throughout the course of a full season. He's had some struggles pitching deep into ball games, even when he is healthy. Uh, but his skill sets as a fly ball pitcher in target field, you know, if, if you're a fly ball pitcher like Baker or Slowey and you can't succeed in target field, then you're really not going to be able to succeed anywhere. So I expect those two guys, if healthy, to have nice seasons. Uh, we'll see if, if Baker, who's had some problems warming up and, 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 and getting to that point where, uh, where he can be efficient in his warm-up sessions and, and, and be okay in the first inning, we'll see if that elbow gives him any problems. But Slowey, uh, he's, he's taken this in stride the last couple weeks, hasn't complained about his potential role in the bullpen, even though inside, obviously, he's probably a little bit upset over the scenario. Um, I, I think he's a decent arm to have in the bullpen if he can accept it mentally. We'll see if, if he's going to be on the trade block going forward. I'm guessing it doesn't really make sense for the Twins to be trading slowly for maybe a 6th or 7th inning relief pitcher, but it's always a good problem to have when you have 6 starting pitchers for 5 slots, especially when you have a guy in slowly who can step in and has the upside to maybe be one of your top 3 or 4 starters. So. Uh, that's the news out of Twins camp today. Baker, number five starter, Slowey out of the rotation, but you know how things change with injuries and whatnot. I'm sure we'll expect uh, to see Slowey in a much more significant role at some point this season, if indeed he does remain a twin. For a lot more information, go to 1500ESPN.com. We're here until the end of spring training another week. We'll see you next time.